Thompson can push his team one series closer to a repeat. And it looks like we're actually going to have to watch him do it at the pace that it's going. Push it to four. It's back to two. Get some breakaway. Oh, there we go. We in. Hmm. Walden trying to force a game seven. So Gilmore has his nemesis in the Warriors. Walton's got his nemesis right here. I will start with the bet here since it's two points. 36 and 8. We got Lionel Hollins on the other side. At some point they've got to. At some point they've got to break out. That's what we're looking at. If we start this series with a repeat. Get the Blazers and let's get the uh, Nuggets. So if we start this series, because right now, so far, this is a this is one of the only Sims that's been different in that there aren't crazy upsets. There aren't three one glitches. Like we haven't seen any of that yet. Teams that are supposed to win are doing just that, and so that. Especially because the Nuggets got better, it's not entirely impossible here. That we may just see a Thompson and Nuggets dynasty. <laughs> Let's see though. They can finish it here on their home floor. Game seven would be in Portland. Of course, who else should they go to? Thompson, they double team. That is not if you if you're the Blazers, that's not the guy you want to see with the ball. Frazier cuts through. There's a screen. Walden. Walden is food and switches. That Frazier and Thompson attacking off screens is just too much, man. Frazier and Thompson attacking off screens is too much for 80 squad. Pass to Harlins. Strips. And it's Denver's ball. This one might be over pretty quickly. We might see a swift decision here. Because they don't even have to just go to last year. They had to do Tom had to go to Thompson for all their handling. That's good defense. That was almost a steal. And there's Issel finishing contested off glass. Shout out to Drew for the prime sub right in time to see the Nuggets apparently advance to the conference finals. And we might get the exact bracket from last year. There's a spin inside. Walton rebound. Passed it up. Blazers pack, y'all. Trailblazer pack. Two minutes to go. And this Nuggets team is looking solid. Frazier with the left. Walden again. Thompson said, I'm going to just let my... Thompson said, I'm going to let my partner cook you. They're not even going to Thompson now. They letting, they letting Frazier cook. Thompson defense. Yeah, it's over y'all It's over y'all. Yep fast break GG that is it That is it the nuggets are back in the conference finals Two points turned to 10 real fast. And Frazier. See that? That's Rudy Gobert and drop right there. Except in today's game, this was a jump shot over Gobert. In the 70s, they just take you straight up. Hey, bud. Good thing we didn't uh, fall for 2K. Good thing we didn't fall for 2K's MVP this year. Remember how much shit people were giving Frazier? People were like, Frazier ruined the Nuggets. People were like, Frazier ruined the Nuggets. He shouldn't, he shouldn't be here. They were better when they just had they just had Thompson. But to advance back to the conference finals, look who they went to. It helped. Thompson isn't as gassed. He doesn't have to create everything. I thought that was a block. Walden is a regular season player, man. Walden trick, y'all. But to be fair, he he's to be fair, he is going against a. This is damn. The Nuggets are basically a super team. 
They're pretty much a super team. All right. Well, second round did once again. This time, 2 4. Brave Sixers. Yeah, let's try it. See if the doctor can survive. Nope. That is it. That is it. The Braves will advance relatively easily. And we are looking at a 1 2 conference finals. And now we got one more. The ultimate. Rick Barry, Gilmore. Oh, it's a tight one. The Bulls. <laughs> oh, yes. The Bulls push it to six. They've got some good distance. Can they finish? They push it to 10. That's it. Gilmore has done it. Redemption. Hey Siri, play Redemption by Drake. A year after possibly being cheated out of a conference finals appearance. The Bulls advance in seven. And Rick Barry is still ringless. So that brings us to the former MVP and the current MVP, Gilmore versus Thompson and Buffalo and the Hawks. Don't need to waste any more time. What's good, Psycho? The Braves are also looking for redemption, but the Hawks have proven themselves to be a really good team. So whatever happens here, I cannot, I can't predict. Uh, four points, two points. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, I'm about to dive All right, here's where we are. It is the Hawks ball. They're up to <clears throat> 30, 30 and 30 for Danley and McAdoo, dynamic duo. <laughs> McAdoo and Taylor Drew Hudson. 107-105. Buffalo is trying to make it back to the finals for a rematch for redemption. There's redemption stories everywhere. Braves and Hawks. No, nah, I've never watched re wrestling. I played the game though with mods. Re showed me the uh game, wrestling game with I think it's 19 that people mod. The bet is up, by the way. Yeah, no, the, the 19. He showed me that, and then he showed me one day on Parsec, he showed me the old wrestling game. I think it's from like 2003 or something like that. And I couldn't believe how much 2K messed up the current wrestling game. The one he showed me, I'm not sure, but you could like go outside. Like you, there was like a bunch of different arenas inside the wrestling venue, or there was like a bunch of different places you could go. So you could take the fight outside. You could go into like a, a helicopter or like fight, um, like a helicopter jump from a helicopter and shit like that. I'm not sure which one that is. I was like, bro, because I, I played I played the other one with him, and I'm like, damn, they really took all the cool stuff out. So yeah, wrestling games are super duper fun. I don't watch it, but especially the old ones. Smackdown, shut your mouth, is that what it's called? Yeah, there was like a motorcycle you could get on. I'm like, bruh. Like, you couldn't do this on the PS4, PS5? Like, you couldn't. So like, here comes the pain, is that what it is? Yeah, I forgot the name of it. I'm like, bruh, you... Like you can't do this on on the PS4, too. Like, it's wild. Yeah. Well, anyways, Buffalo down two. Absolutely need a stop, which they definitely have the personnel to do. And there it is. Couldn't get the rebound. All right, Buffalo can tie. It's a 50-50 bet. They kick it up. Braves have been good in transition. Ah, oh, they fumbled it. And there is an argument on the court. They've both been ejected. They've both been ejected. One of them is now going to miss the next game due to personal reasons that may or may not have to do with the fight. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely getting that new Hot Wheels game. That, that should look crazy. I'm so mad they don't come out till September. Oh, they're going to have to fling. Danley's going to have to fling a contested one. 
<laughs> said, nah, this ain't 2021. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to push the techs up all the way for 2021. Hudson, mid range, in and out. And uh, if, if you haven't seen that Hot Wheels game yet, I advise you take a look at the trigger alerts. It's gorgeous. A lot of dribbling. Back down, Moses Malone. The hook, off glass. Nope, no wrestling when I was younger. Never. Now, I think that might be Moses' Moses' first actual, like, go-to bucket. Normally, they're just rebounds or something. I don't know if he has any go-to buckets yet. So, with Moses improving, Buffalo might have a better chance because he, he was a bit raw last year. Good bully move. Braves and drop. McAdoo snags it. We're tied. Braves in transition. Behind the back. Dantley can't finish. That was... That was a that was a good attempt. Couple of years he'll be able to get it. McAdoo, the block. McAdoo. Oh wow. Ain't no way. After the block, he couldn't corral it. What a crazy finish. What a crazy finish. Fading away. Moses. Over two. This is out of everything in the sim, this is what I'm most happy with. To see guys who weren't superstars yet clearly developing into actual star players moses was not doing under this last year he's a he looks like a go-to option now he's in he's starting as well when he was off the bench nope ain't gonna get him twice call him post malone ain't gonna get him twice look at all the defense get the fuck out of here with that shit this is gorgeous on both sides Got a good old 70s classic fight on our hands. This is a defensive hood classic. This is a certified hood classic. Still got a minute remaining. This is, this will decide, well, the series will decide who goes to the final. So the defensive intensity is warranted. McAdoo, oh, McAdoo fumbled the skip. Fumbled the skip pass. The Hawks rebound it. Oh, damn. What a double team from Atlanta in the corner. That's tough. They doubled him in the corner. He tried to send it to the open man. And it got it got off the backboard. That is a Bynum move. This is Clippers. This is Clippers activity, y'all. This is absolutely Clippers activity. It hit the backboard. Oh man, I haven't seen it. I don't think I see. I seen a pass hit the rim. I don't know if I seen it hit the glass. That is not what we meant when we said off glass. Hawks are nice, bro. Y'all keep y'all keep y'all stay asleep. The Hawks are nice. <laughs> Macaboo, <laughs> Macaboo emoji. Said I was a top better for Atlanta. Yeah, I'm saying everybody sleep, bro. They sleep because we didn't see them in the regular season. I I, I didn't. I didn't think Lou Hudson was gonna. I wasn't going to no Hawks games regardless. I just didn't think Hood, Lou Hudson was enough, but they clearly have more than just that. Oh, there goes Chuck. Back of the jersey says Chuck. I guess he did play for the Clippers. Contrary to what he said the other day. They're doubling Dantley, trying to force another mistake. Oh, wow! That was beautiful. Yeah! That was beautiful. That pass got through. I thought Malone was about to drive. Hey, man, team basketball. Good old team basketball. You got to love it before it devolves into people complaining about three-point shots. Right now, it's, it's passing. It's passing in motion. Hudson, they're not letting him go one-on-one. -on -one. There's a spin. There's a layup. It was blocked. It was blocked by Dantley. There's a fast break all the way. Braves with the lead. A brave defensive effort. I think that was a good defense more than it was bad shot, honestly. I saw, the, I saw him going up. I thought he had a free layup. I thought he had a free layup. Dantley just got up there. Dantley got up there. Now, see, that's a bad shot. <laughs> Dom curse on demand. 
Oh my gosh. 25 seconds remain. Double team. No give and go action this time. It's clamped. <laughs> Absolutely. Bantley, paint. Hawks are not going to recover in time. And they've got one more shot. They've got one more shot and plenty of options for it. Oh no, the Braves don't move to LA yet. They move to San Diego next. Last chance. 13.6 remain. A lot of action. They're double teaming. He gets rid of it. Seven seconds. The Braves are clamping up. There's a pick. He's going to go for an open mid range shot. The tip. <laughs> Hey, yo, the tip, the tip hit the backboard. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> That's a tough. That's a tough way to lose your points. Hey, yo, I need a reminder to put down bad on the soundboard. From uh, from laugh now, cry later. I need down bad on the soundboard. <laughs> hey, yo, PG is inspired. I, th I don't think it would have counted anyways, but it's it's still funny nonetheless. <laughs> hey, yo, it's funny non nonetheless. I don't care. And that was 50-50. Wow, great win from the Braves. Beautiful win from the Braves. A brave effort, if you will. They say it's the 2015 Hawks. Uh, did I have anything I wanted here? Not really, no. Damn. That's tough. I actually thought it was going to be one of those situations where we couldn't tell if it was uh, if it was good or not. All right, and on this side, we got the battle of the MVPs. The first two MVPs of the Sim now fight for supremacy of a conference. Oh, my God. Well, there's no contest there. Zero contest. The Nuggets coasted all season. And the Braves are going to take... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they blew another lead. Surprise. Surprise, surprise. Braves blew another lead. And so that's probably going to lead us into a game. Yeah, three points. Yeah, I think that's... That's cause enough. The Braves have the ball. Down three. McAdoo just stuff the stat sheet how does this team ever lose every time we jump into a braves game they got like four guys that all have extreme extreme stat lines i don't know how they ever lose well yeah they really don't like they only have seven losses in the whole season so all right well the same same bet is up same exact bet braves hawks that puts us to uh game two yeah game two once again if you were not here last time the braves are fighting for redemption if they can get all the way back to the mountaintop they were so close to winning it last year if they can get all the way back to the top i just might not move them what's good white and uh sorry that's here one appreciate you if they win the championship i might just keep them in buffalo they send me the modders send me the rebrand so I can use them technically I can use them when I want and uh maybe that should be it because if they if they won the championship why would they why would they move so I might let them stay for at least a little bit before getting getting rid of the, or going because eventually they're gonna go to San Diego I'm gonna eventually put them in San Diego but this season I don't see why I move them and also that that would move them to the Western Conference as well so I don't know. That's something to think about. Well, either way, we're not in the game. Said Braves playing to save basketball in <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, no. See, people came out to support them. Now they didn't have fans last year. Now they know they might lose their team. They, they're showing up. I might feel bad. Look at all the rebounding the Braves have down there. Said teams are building to stop Gilmore and the Gilmore gang. I don't know. Kind of feel like it's for the Nuggets. I feel like it's for the Nuggets. Uh, yep, backdoor cut, but McAdoo is there. Oh, wow, he readjusted. That was gorgeous. 
That was actually very nice. I thought that was going to be a swat. That's 15 for Merriweather. Shout out to GTA and GTA players if y'all still mess with that. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who you gonna pick to send to the free throw line? And ATL remains up three. They definitely need one going back. Said so next year is gonna be a horrible finals. In the third year of every sim, we get a horrible one. I don't know. It feels feels like something is different with the 70s because of the pace of play and the fact that the te so many teams are top heavy. Oh my god. He just trucked the man. I don't have the, the move bitch sound effect from Ludacris, but if I did, that would have came in handy. That was a full offensive foul. Dropped the shoulder and everything. That was probably a good foul because somebody was about to cut back door. It said hit stick, right? So who don't mess with GTA? I don't know. The game has just been out for so long. They're about to release it again for PS5. Shout out to Naughty Dog, wasting their time remaking The Last of Us. Fam, Last of Us 1 came out in 2013. They did a remaster right after that, so that's two. They just put out The Last of Us 2. I played that last year, and now you're remaking the game? Like, bruh, make something, make another game, make another franchise. Like, what are they, and I'm confused what they mean. Everyone is saying remake. Is that different from a remaster? Because they're not remastered. I know they're not remastering a remaster. That remaster came out in like 2014 or 15. So they're like remaking the game completely. I'm like, fam, at least wait until you get to like year. Uh, if they were to announce this in 2023, I probably would have been more hype. But I'm like, man, they are milking that shit. They are milking that shit, man. Like, we don't. Like, if you would have remade the first Uncharted or something, I probably would have been hype. But like, I feel like I. I feel like I, I feel like Last of Us is still very much a part of my life. So to have it remade right now just seems kind of whack. Oh, like Mac missed the free tip. Luckily, his teammate was there to clean it up. Yeah, Jack and Dexter. Yeah, see what I'm saying there's a lot of. Yeah, I, I don't know what games have been remade. I don't know any games off the top of my head that have actually been like remade. I was telling my brother that he was talking about remaster. I'm like, nah, gee, they said remake. What video games so far have actually been like remade? Resident Evil's been remade. I don't play that. So Final Fantasy. Yeah, Crash I know of, yeah. I'm like, dog, last, last of it just came out. <laughs> Y'all not announcing a remake of the first right after you just dropped the second. A midi miss. And the Hawks look like they're probably going to take game two if there's not a stop here. Ooh, that was, that was risky. And that's it. That's got to be a travel, bro. Malone! No! Ain't no way! Ain't no way! I thought Malone swatted that. He did! He did! Brave Gate. He blocked it in. He blocked it in. How many times has this happened to me? Yep, blocked it right out of his hand. That's. Damn, Braves voters tight right now. <laughs> That's tough. I swear I thought that was going into the front row. Well, yeah, Spiral is Spiral is here. I love Spiral. I'm saying though, Spiral was like from when I was a kid, so that makes sense. Like Spiral is something I grew up with on the PlayStation One. I'm like, oh damn, now it's out on this next generation of graphics and everything. But I'm like, fam, like 2013, I. <laughs> People still got trauma from 2013, Chief. Like, come on now. There's still things people remember from 2013 that affect them today. That's not that's not remake range. Well, I'm gonna keep the low fox. I think it's probably cooked. If Malone could have got that block, they would have stood a chance. But yeah, GTA as well. Like, I don't think we get GTA 6 in new time soon. Yeah, GTA 5, that's sick. Especially the thing with GTA 5 is like, there's a lot of us that play it on PC. So I, I play, I mean, I, I mess with it on console every now and then, but I play it on PC and I, I got graphic mods and all this extra stuff. So I really don't know what GTA 5 can do on a PS5 console that's going to entice me. I, I don't know. Maybe you, you, we got 5M on GTA now. You got 5M where you can do all these like role play servers that are crazy. And there's an N1 that is going to make this a one possession game. 
Wow. I thought this one was cooked. Multiple teams. Both teams are giving up a lead here. Yeah, like during the summer, I, I definitely plan on getting on 5M. That was something uh, reset he was interested interested in as well. Um, but yeah, I'm like, with all that, I actually have five. Oh my gosh! Bruh. What the hell? Damn. Rarely, yeah. Rarely ever do we see missed free throws. But when we do, they cost the game. They're going to force this to be a close series. It's for ratings. Dantley steps into that. We're out of here. That is tough. Series is tied, though. I ain't tripping. <laughs> Interesting series. That one goes to the Braves. No, the Hawks. Uh, but yeah, that 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 Last of Us news just had me had me tripping. That Last of Us news had me tripping. I'm like, bro, I can remember so vividly watching Chris move play Last of Us. Like, I still go back sometimes and watch his playthrough of that. I'm like, we definitely did not need to remake this soon. <laughs> remake is after I, I like forget about it. Um. All right, the Bulls clap back. Bad. All right, so we have got <clears throat> we've got a tied series here. Yeah, the uh, main reason I don't want it to succeed is because like I don't want that to become like I mean remasters was already one trend, but like doing like remakes under ten years of games like I don't I don't want that to become a trend because if it works and if it becomes a thing then other people are just gonna repeat and uh you know instead of getting new new stuff to instead of getting new toys you're playing with the same thing over and over. Instead of Chris move is played, they don't need a remake. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> his his remake is not that old. His his playthrough is not that old. Like I can go back and yeah, I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at uh remakes as like things from my childhood. I don't consider that my childhood yet. Um Saints Row the third. I mean, I, 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 I like that. I like the Saints Row thing. Cause that's a remaster. I'm fine with remasters. And we got a game. I'm fine with jumps as well. Um. Yeah, I'm saying, if, there, if there's a remake of something from an era, you still got beef with people with. I don't know, man. Man said he came up 20k from these bets. 32, 11, and 5 from Thompson. 32, and 14 from Gilmore. All right, well, this is where we're at. 1982 draft, Who, who's 1982? Every draft, the thing that I just learned from the, uh, the thing that I just learned from the, the bet is up, by the way. The thing that I just learned from the Bernard King draft is that right now, though, in the state of the league, you don't necessarily, you don't necessarily need like a, a super heavy draft every, every time because I, I saw somebody say like the drafts are going to be dry like last year and somebody was like the drafts are going to be dry for a while but really like if you just get one guy one superstar like Bernard King you can get something decent like that every draft I think you're good in this in this league for a while it's like next time we're going to get Larry Bird then after that you're going to get Magic and so like yeah and if you get one guy that completely transform transforms a franchise as long as we're in this league where that can happen the league is in the the league is in the state where that could happen i think it's good once the league gets super stacked to where one guy can't change anything then i think you need heavier drafts um but yeah bernard king really kind of put me on to that i'm like man he he took the suns from irrelevancy to the playoffs and he didn't even get that far so it's not like super unrealistic he took them he took them to the playoffs in one season and they lost rightfully so but he gave us some interesting games Everything should be good, all right. And so, yeah, you don't... Yeah, now, once 84 comes and every team get a, a duo partner, that's probably it as Denver ties it. Because once 94 comes, think about it. Once not, or my bad, once 84 comes, there's going to be a lot of teams that already have a star that are probably going to get another one. I think by that time, like, 
Yeah, because some certain teams are going to have had a chance to draft somebody good and be bad by that point. Like, the Suns might be bad by that point. Who knows? And then they end up with Michael Jordan. <laughs> or they end up with Hakeem. Shout out to a chameleon for the prime sub. You, you deadass might have the... The Suns out here with Bernard King and Hakeem. A steak pun is a rare medium. Well done. I like that. Nightbot just dropped the bucket on that one. Izzle, midi, nothing but the bottom. The series is tied as well. Would Jordan go first? I have no clue. Yeah, probably. I, I, I highly doubt anyone's going to pass Jordan, but I've seen weirder things. He'll probably, he'll probably go first. Gilmore, does he see the cutter? He does not see the cutter. He had an open lay-in. Uh-oh, Thompson on Gilmore. So Thompson is definitely... Or Gilmore is going to get that rebound, absolutely. Yep, there it is. He passed it out. He's got the mismatch, and he passed it out. They've still got the mismatch. They're not looking at it. Yep, Ralph Sampson is absolutely going to go crazy. The animation almost got him. It was this close. Oh, Thompson just put Gilmore in prison. That's a narrative I'm rolling with. Said Hakeem or Jordan can't go wrong with either one. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think because it's 2K, I think Jordan is probably going to go first. But it depends on how they do the drafts. Because I know these guys, uh, they edit the players and whatnot. So maybe Hakeem will, maybe it'll simulate it and Hakeem will go first. I don't know exactly how it goes yet. And we've seen it happen plenty of times too in 2K. Thompson one-on-one. -on -one. Gilmore doesn't want the smoke. Denver remains up by three. Oh, well, free agency is better this year because now the fake teams aren't going to sign anybody, so. Um, well, they shouldn't anyways. I ran tests and they didn't. Maybe like one or two guys, but. He said that's how crazy the 84 draft is. The Rockets pass on the GOAT and nobody clowns them for it because they ended up with Hakeem, yeah. Yeah, it's not like they went wrong. Definitely not like they went wrong. Gilmore look a little bit washed on defense in the playoffs. I think I think he's kind of tired from carrying all season. Great pass and one, and one. Thompson missed the cutter. The game is more than likely tied. And Michael Thompson without injuries is gonna be crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he should be good. He should be great. So yeah, we got a we got a couple of players in this draft. A moving jumper off the assist. Gilmore rebound. The Bulls can take the lead. Inside. Wow, Buddy's going at Thompson. I think that's Wilbur, ain't it? He is going. Yep, that's that's a Wilbur. That sure is. What series is this like? A, a play, a role player going at a star player? Is this the Delhi moment? Is this the Delhi moment, the Delhi and Steph Curry moment with Wilbur and, and Thompson? Thompson going back at him. He's going to take it inside. He's actually going to respond. Angle just let, <laughs> just like, Angle let a, a nameless or a cyber faceless guy go at him like that. Over and over. Here goes a Gilmore post up spin. There's a double. He's not going to shoot out of it. Gilmore there. Oh, oh wow. I would have blamed that on the generic. I would have blamed that on the generic because he, he don't have law passing. <laughs> oh damn, that was a closer one. Nah, that's the, that's the generic's fault, bro. He don't he don't he don't have passing stats. Man, he was supposed to he was supposed to kill that, bro. Oh, this is like game three. Ah, Gilmore is tired. Gilmore is fatigued, man. Gilmore is fatigued. He's been carrying the entire year. The Nuggets got good defense, too. He, he not the first big man the Nuggets made look obsolete. Uh-oh. Yep, there it is. He does the same thing to Walton. Oh, my goodness. He says, I am not Bill Walton. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Gilmore said, you are not cooking me in ISO. Fuck no. <laughs> Oh! <gasps>
That man said you were not cooking me an ISO. I am not Bill Walden. Yo, that is ridiculous. Look how high he got up for that. He said that's my MVP, punk. Oh my gosh, MVP on MVP crime. The first two MVPs going at it for the finals. How else? I love that they're actually giving me my storylines. They're actually letting them develop. Normally in Sims, normally in Sims, this doesn't happen. Jesus. <laughs> Chicago remains with the lead. All right, so Thompson, they're not going to try that switch again. I doubt they I doubt they're going back with that switch again. <laughs> Normally, like, they like Thompson to switch on a big guy and just go to work, but Gilmore is, is too big. There we go. Now he's he's got a, a more favorable matchup. Runs into a double team, kicks it out. This is going to have to be a jumper. He steps into it. It rims out. The Bulls can secure a win. 25 seconds. All they've got to do is score, and they probably win the game corner it looks like they're gonna go to a cut no good gilmore the rebound and that'll do it can't be mad at that been doing it all season the third leading rebounder in the league i believe now he can miss one He's gotta put it away here the MVP, ladies and gentlemen. He makes this one and it's definitely over. That is it. The MVP steps to the line, calmly knocks down two, and the Bulls are two wins away from the finals. He missed. He missed earlier in the season, so I, did, I wasn't fully confident there. The Nuggets are probably not going to get an and one here. Yeah, I talked about it with D-Lob. I am going to do Sabonis' his career. I'm going to bring Sabonis over on time. There's no reason to simulate his career being ruined, so... He's actually going to come to this league on time. There's no reason to simulate him being ported. Big Dog with the big miss. Somebody said they just lost their whole life savings. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, Bulls voters got paid. Bulls voters got paid, paid. Man, Gilmore is having a GOAT season, bro. He don't have a point guard. He don't have a point. I mean, ruin his NBA career. I'm talking about because like, he came here and he was, like, injured. And he was still good, but he was... You know, he, wouldn't, he was supposed to be, like, a prime star here. I think he would have been a prime star here. And that got collapsed. Behind 34-19... Man, with no point guard, he is two wins away from the finals. More Gilmore, please. Uh, the Hawks. The Braves can put this one to 3-1. They're going to jump out to a lead. They are never going to trail. And the Braves are one win away. From their shot at redemption. But will it be Thompson? Would they get their shot at Thompson again? Or is it going to be Gilmore? The series looks tied to me. The series is tied. The series is tied. We do have to sim these so I can get the conference finals. I get the conference finals screenshots because I missed that last time. Uh, four points. I think the Braves are going to take it. We can probably sim it all the way down since they're up 3-1. No reason to watch an anticlimactic ending. And, yep, the Braves are going to do it. The Braves have made it back. Shout out to K-Star for the prime sub. Right in time to see the Braves. Haul their way back to the finals. They have done it. And they do it in five. So, yeah, well, I think anyways. <laughs> I think. I mean, they, they have blown leads. They're only up five here. McAdoo. And the save. 
Not this time. They have done it. They are back by virtue of the Mac that would have cut it to a one possession game. Oh, that is Hawes. I didn't know his name was actually Hawes. I thought the Spencer Hawes thing was a nod to him getting all the rebounds. <laughs> Smackadoo. <laughs> oh, bad. You love to see it. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. All right. Well, save the Braves. Hashtag save the Braves. If they win the championship this year, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I can't. I actually can't promise that. I actually can't promise that because they're supposed to move west. So that actually fucks with things if I leave them in Buffalo. That actually fucks with things quite a bit if I leave them in Buffalo because it's not just a city change. They're actually supposed to move, move to a different conference. And I'm eventually going to do it anyway, so I don't know if we can save the Braves. I mean, they have to win the championship for me to even, to even consider it, but... Yeah, they would. The Braves are supposed to move uh, west, which is supposed to make this whole thing completely different, because it would put the Braves inside the conference with Michael, with David Thompson. Oh, but also, if I put them in the west, how, like I'm supposed to, who even comes out of the east now? I guess that'd give Irving and Boston a chance. I guess that'd give Irving and Boston a chance, because they're never gonna beat this team. Like they're a super team. That's what they are. They have Malone, Randy Smith. Dantley, McAdoo, they actually have like a full starting five. Yeah, they're, they're never going to lose in the East. Um, oh, that's it though. Regardless, the Braves are back in the finals. Their Save the Braves campaign lives on. And in the first two seasons, we've already got a redemption story. Normally, we don't see this. You go to the four straight finals and lose all of them. Uh, yeah, I'll see. I don't know. I've made a decision, but does Chicago move to the east this year? Because if Chicago moves east, then I then I'll probably move. Go ahead and just move them. And that is it. They are in their second straight finals, and they will have a shot at either the MVP or a revenge story against the last MVP. This one is still 2-2. Two, two. The Braves are just chilling. How did this happen? Gilmore. He wants it. He only needs one more. And it looks like he will do it. He will. No repeat champion. Gilmore blocks the Nuggets second championship. It's the work is done. The work is done. Let's go. We still have no back to back champions. We got one last sim. It took all that time, but we're not going to start this sim with one. Thompson and Frazier are going to fall short. Despite being really great really magnificent this entire time but gilmore the mvp the defensive player of the year gilmore is low-key gilmore is low-key the original brawn low-key 07 brawn not even gonna lie because he don't have a real point guard here and he don't really even have a great roster they just but they still do good things like wilbur cuts really well that changes things Nope, no farmlands. You can ping song and see see what it is. Two straight MVP champions? Possibly. They said he was robbed last year. And he's got a chance to bring it home, but he's gonna have to do it against the super team. He is going to have to do it against the super team. That's the tough part here. Alright, it all comes down to this. The Braves lost seven games all season. Now they're against Chicago. Yeah, this this might be uh this is a really tough task for the Bulls, not gonna lie. <laughs> this is a really, really tough task for Chicago. <laughs> um like with no real point guard, I, I yeah, it doesn't look like they can compete. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think this will wash, y'all. They're back in Chicago. They they can't even they can barely stay competitive. Yeah, that, that was quick. Is this the first? Is this the first one that was over that fast? <laughs> yep, 4-0. The Braves cap off their perfect season with no glitch to stand in the way. That is it. A clean sweep. Gilmore had all that. <laughs> hey, yo, Gilmore had all that hype all season to get swept. We did it's been a long time since we didn't even get a finals game. It's been a really long time. Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. Yeah, man. Hey, look. The writing was on the wall, man. <laughs> the writing was on the wall. Um, the Denver beat them last year because Moses Malone wasn't, hadn't really... Moses Malone wasn't really Moses Malone yet. I honestly think the Braves would have smashed on either of these guys. I don't know, but... Either way, that's it. Gilmore's probably been dealing with that all season. And we didn't even get any Gilmore Finals highlights, yo. The Braves get their franchise a championship. The curse is broken. They lost in the Finals last year and destroyed the league the next. Malone has developed into a, a star. Yeah, they, hey man. He said you called it when you called Gil LeBron. Yeah, pretty much. Like, there just wasn't a there, there wasn't a lot he could do against this. McAdoo was on top of the world. Damn. They yo they dominated. It's been a long time, man. We're starting this with the super team. It's been a long time since somebody dominated like that. Damn, Dono's team, bro. That's crazy. As soon as Malone developed a little bit, it was over. Malone developed a little bit. A little bit. Came off the bench last year. And he developed a little bit. And that was game. Average 17 and 12 in the finals. Yeah, he... <laughs> oh, damn. Said get Moses out of there for more parity? Nah, they... They make the decisions. They saw they uh they started with this and they developed it. That wouldn't make sense for me to take it, take it from them. If they become a dynasty, they become a dynasty. That's the way that goes. But you know, two K doesn't allow repeat champions. We only have one in like a, a whole year worth of trying. So, ooh, that team is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> that team is disgusting. There is a brave championship. In the Save the Braves campaign, McAdoo had 34 points, 14 rebounds, 61% from the field. <laughs> the 70s Warriors are born. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think Thompson could have... I don't think Thompson could have done anything about this one. In this specific year. Well, other than that... Other than that, it was a good, it was a good playoffs. Uh, we got to see a lot of grudge matches. Uh, I think Denver could have probably gotten a couple of games here, but yeah, Gilmore. <laughs> Whew. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Let's see what happens. Um, these are not the retro fillers from actual teams. These are free agency retro fillers, so they're not actually retiring from teams. They're retiring from a free agency. Nate Thurman called it a career, though. Nate Thurman did call it a career. He is out of here. Bob Weiss as well. Uh, yeah, don't care. Um, make sure they don't approve no goofy shit. Thing is, now I have the I have the hidden options menu. So if there's ever a rule I need to change, I can change anything at any time now. So that's actually kind of um, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do over the off season with realignment. All right, let's see what happens here. The Larry Bird draft, also Michael Thompson. Um, so the Nets, the Kings. Oh, how about Larry on the Knicks? How about Larry Bird on the Knicks? Mm. 
That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. So go ahead and get through all this. See who's going to end up with the highest pick that's actually a real team. <laughs> Bird to Braves. Nah, see, that, that, that's where I would draw the line. They have an organically built super team right now. That's their thing. I draw the line at adding a year old stash. <laughs> Goat. Um, no, it looks like it's going to be the Nets. All right, looks like Larry's going to the Nets. Yep, trees are on. They don't have Archibald, no. All right, so everything else is no-brainers. I have to pick all the no-brainers. All right. Damn. Interesting. I. I don't know what all that's about. Well, either way. Let's go ahead and pick some no-brainers here. Uh, Lee Fisher. Sounds like a good one. Simply take the best player available, like you said. Uh, Alexi Duncan. Okay. Should be doing a lot of Duncan for the Mavs. Yeah, I know the players aren't injured. Yeah. They just said, like, they're eyeball or something like that. I'm like, that'd be alright. You'll see clearly once they're in the league. Uh... Bull wall. Yeah, we need a, we need another wall. We need another wall in the league. These guys all become retro fillers. I just replaced them. Um, Carlisle. I think it's gonna be solid picks in the league, man. These guys are gonna come off the bench and win a championship one day. There's nothing. There's nothing to gripe about. Um. Free drag. Free drag. Rodage. Frank Strong. Very strong pick for the non-existent Heat. Um, we'll do a lot. I, I know the Heat comes sometime in the 80s. I know that much. Go ahead and get a wade in. Said talking like the Nets can't trade their pick. That'd be hilarious. Mavericks coming 1980. Okay, that's pretty cool. And go ahead and get Zames a good pick. Take a guy named Victor for him. Jerseys are so heat. All right. The Nets selected Michael Thompson. They said to hell with your Euro stash. So Larry Falls. Yo, oh, the fuckery has begun. How far is it going to fall? It can't be that far. Okay, it can't be that far. So for the Kings, there it is. Larry Bird will begin his career in Kansas City. And they were now since he's not going to play, the Kings could technically be technically be bad enough to get magic. I'm just throwing some things out there. I'm just throwing some things out there. If Larry's not going to play this year, he's a Euro stash. Next year, if they're bad and they're in the draft, now they've got Magic and Larry. That is the thing that could happen. <laughs> the Nets sold like crazy, though. The Nets sold like crazy. That is... That is tough. Um, Maurice Cheeks is in this. Uh, Michael Cooper. I definitely want to see where Michael Cooper goes. <laughs> Reggie Theus looked like that. Looked like that Dave Chappelle. That Dave Chappelle skit. Game blouses. Oh, my. Larry and Magic might play together, bro. Larry and Magic might play. I think there's a high chance that that happens. There's a very high chance that that happens. Because the Kings are not going to make the playoffs probably next year either. <laughs> Yeah, the net the Nets fuck that one up. That's an all-time fuck up. That is an all-time fuck up, but they said they need somebody who's ready to play now. Michael Ray to the bullets. My after they get Michael Cooper, I'm pretty much 
I'm pretty much good after they get Michael Cooper. Because I, I want to see if Michael Cooper falls to a good team. The Jazz would get Earl Monroe. Wow, the Knicks are going to get rid of Earl Monroe, huh? Oh, Earl Monroe. Oh, damn. I was just reading about this. Earl Monroe and Pete. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Earl and Pete. Literally before this stream, I was reading Pete Maravich's book and they were talking about the uh, similarities in, the, in, in handling and like flashiness of Earl Monroe and Pete. Absolutely. Big dub. Absolutely. Get that man some help. Yes, sir. Yes, Pete and Pearl. Absolutely. I, I support that. Oh, yeah. That's that's a big W. Because Pete was in the playoffs without a legitimate two. Now he's got a two. Oh, nice. The Pistol Pearl duo. Thank God. So the Jazz, the Jazz recognized the... They need to get him some help before he gets before he starts leaving. Wow, there's no way I was literally just reading that. It was before they were in the league. Um, it was talking about them as like college or high school or something like that. Oh man, Cooper! Somebody, yo, the Lakers might get Michael Cooper. If the Spurs or Lakers grab Michael Cooper, that's a huge W. The Bucks would get. Walker and Smith. The Cavs would get a first pick. I don't really care about this one. Yeah, I don't I don't really care at all. Um but that doesn't really seem that doesn't really seem good for the Bucks at all, to be real. That don't really seem any good for the Bucks. Yeah, that, that was much better for them to get Maurice Cheeks. That was much, much better for them to get Maurice Cheeks. That's a solid pickup. Uh, okay, Michael Cooper to the Lakers or the oh the Spurs, nice. What a pick by San Antonio. Michael Cooper and George Gervin. So they've got him a legitimate lockdown, a legitimate lockdown perimeter player. Who's Kareem gonna get? The Lakers would get bought nah. No. An old an old washed uh bot nah. Nah. Gerald Henderson is that is that the is that the is that our Gerald Henderson's predecessor nah <laughs> Billy Ray Bates that's a fire name they snapped on that name all right is there anybody else in this because I think we're done I think we're I think we're done here anybody else anybody wants to see Cause if not, I think we're gonna go ahead and move on. Butch, yeah, I think it's Celtics Henderson. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move on to free agency and whatnot. Yeah, we're out of here. All right. Um, get down to everything that matters. Michael Thompson. Not a bad pick, but it's not Larry Bird. Uh, Larry Bird not going to play this season. If Larry Bird doesn't play this year and comes in with Magic Johnson, if the Kings do bad enough. Michael Cooper, great pickup. Also, Michael Ray. But Cooper is what I'm looking at because the, the Spurs were already a competitive team. The Kings, man. I would fear what comes next. We'll see what's about to happen next. Oh my. Uh, auto generate for now. Alright, uh, yeah, go ahead. Alright, well, let's see what happened. Let's see what happened in transactions. Steve Mix mixing it up and moving on to the bullets. I think last year this was all. Fake team. So as you can see, real teams are actually signing people now. That's good. Uh... <laughs> John Johnson. Oh, the Magic are in love with Johnsons. Pause. Michael Irving. 
Let me go down before this shit freeze, bro. It's not like it's gonna freeze. Um, couple of waves. Oh yeah, that was to get rid of um, Johnson and Johnson. It's a shame we didn't get to see Marcus Johnson. Um, I messed with his his touches because I didn't think he was really a part of the offense compared to what he was scoring. There, there is a good free agent. I just forgot who it is. Um, so good thing is, it seems like there's only going to be a couple of teams that sign like one or two players, a couple of fake teams. So obviously, in my walkthrough, I'll be able to iron that out. Um, I can't remember who was the best free agent in this one, though. I did look. I think... I think uh, Dandridge was also on a one-year deal. I'm pretty sure Dandridge was on a one-year deal, so he could have moved on. As he should. The Celtics are on their way out. Ralph Simpson. Not Samson. Kevin Porter. Ah, the Warriors retained Rick Barry. Okay, I think he was one of the big ones. So Rick Barry did not leave. Damn, that would have been nice. <laughs> that would have been really nice. The Braves held on to Randy Smith, big W. They gave that, they paid that man. The Celtics gave Bob Dandridge a good, okay, nice. Rick Roby. The Cel so a lot of teams retained their guys. That's that's good. Turns out Havlicek is still around, but he's he's on his last uh last le wow whoa 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 okay john havlicek if he has anything left in the tank we now have earl monroe pete maravich and john havlicek so if he's got anything left in the tank the jazz are looking like they'll be competitive this year that's that's nice so we'll see if he can do anything if he can help them at all oh wilbur wilbur left the bulls wilbur left the bulls and went to the lakers Daryl Dawkins is still on Philly. Kermit Washington left the Lakers, but Wilbur was the, the guy that cuts all the time for Chicago. That's a good piece. Dan Issel left the Nuggets to go play with Bernard King. That is huge. Wow. He sees the future. He sees the future. That man went from one MVP to a future one. Said he left the Prince to play with the King. And Cowens went to Indy. All right. All right. Well, that's how this goes. That's how this ends. A couple of, a couple of good signings. Um, I'm gonna let the Indy thing rock because they were they were like right outside of the playoffs. So. <sighs> Not. Oh yeah, Nate. Yeah, Nate. There we go. Yeah, Dave and Nate. There you go. Yeah. They were right outside of the playoffs. Nate Archibald and uh and Colin Collins. That is very nice, actually. All right, nah, that everything makes sense. Everything looks good. Boston was falling apart as I thought. I'll see what happens to the Braves. Um, let me just go to the Jazz real quick. Wow, Dan Issel to the Suns is is crazy. Um, yeah, he's starting. So again, he's not he's not really good anymore. Apparently he didn't get traded last year, like people had said. He just wasn't starting anymore. He lost his starting spot. So he can still be good, but because before he lost his starting spot, he was averaging 17 points. He moved to the bench, but yeah, at age 38. I don't know. We'll see what he can give. On screen, he was nice. You got Earl P and Havlicek. They might be able to sweat something out for one year. Um But we'll see. You know, it's hopeful. Alright, well. I will See y'all when 1979 comes up. And uh, I'm going to have a little prayer circle to get Larry Bird and Magic on the Kings. I think, uh, I think that's why I want to take this thing.